Welcome to another Vectorworks Best Practices video. At Vectorworks, we try hard to help our users get the most out of our modeling and design software. This overview will help you understand more about the opportunities available using an open BIM methodology to collaborate with other professionals by taking advantage of the open BIM file format standard called IFC. Vectorworks supports BIM, or Building Information Modeling, interoperability by using IFC, or Industry Foundation Classes, as the file format for exchanging model data. IFC is a vendor-neutral file format, making it possible to exchange building model information between different disciplines and different software applications within the building industry. So, who supports IFC? Well, there are more than 75 international vendors with over 110 software applications that can read and write IFC data. And this list is growing every year. These applications include architectural design, structural analysis design and modeling, building services analysis design and modeling, facilities management, energy analysis, quantity and cost estimating and tracking, model and data browsers, and finally, development tools. The principal benefit of an IFC object-oriented file format is its object description. Not only does the IFC protocol preserve the full geometric description in 3D, but it also tracks object location and relationships, as well as other properties or parameters of each object. Let's look at some guidelines to make Vectorworks building models easy to export to IFC. First, design layers for the model should correspond to building stories. Take care to set the z-values of layers correctly and verify that all the objects in the drawing are aligned vertically. Examining the project in unified view mode makes this easy. Secondly, as always, we recommend using our class structure to classify objects appropriately. This is key for creating a good BIM template. Next, wherever possible, use standard Vectorworks plug-in objects as they're automatically converted into the corresponding IFC entity upon export. As you can see from this list, most of the major building elements have been given IFC information and are ready for export. Additionally, one of the great features of Vectorworks, due to its parasolid modeling core, is that you can model literally anything. And once built, assigning IFC data to these objects is easy. For example, if we need to turn this model into an IFC column object, first select AEC, then go to IFC data. From the list in the Select IFC Entity dialog box, select IFC column. All of these options are presented in two lists, a simple list with IFC entities more related to the building industry, or select from the full list option if you're looking for broader categories. Once you've created an IFC wrapper or bubble around an object, you'll notice that the object info palette understands the change and displays the type of IFC object selected and its assigned GUID or Global Identification Number. And now that you're ready to export your model, just select Export IFC Project from the Export menu list. A dialog window opens, and here you can fill in some blank fields. Some are optional, and some are necessary for the process. For example, the Building Data pane, A, requires information about the project, such as primary and secondary fire use code classifications. Additionally, occupancy types, such as office space or retail, should be entered. Planned gross and net area, if you know it, is useful for programming the building. For type of fire protection, select none or a sprinkler option. Now, looking at the export options pane, choose IFC version 2x3, unless there's a good reason to pick the older file format. For projects that include a site model, you'll want to check the appropriate box. And for export building stories, enter the number of stories or floors in your model. In the lower pane, Owner History Data, fill in the blanks with information about the owner's name and company information. The rest of the application information is automatically assigned. Now let's move on to the Layer Mapping tab. Available Layers shows a list of Vectorworks layers ready for mapping. 
By using the Add or Remove buttons, the user can indicate what layers belong to or correspond to each story, including a DTM for the site. Don't forget each story must have an indication or check mark for stories above ground, whether it's sprinklered or non-sprinklered, and if it contains an entrance. You're now set to export your model. And now that you've created your IFC model, I'm sure you'll want to test the quality of the IFC export by verifying it in an IFC model browsing utility, such as Solibri Model Viewer, FCK Viewer, TNO IFC Engine Viewer, or DDS CAD Viewer. Many of these are free downloads and are available on Mac and PC platforms. Here at Nemechek Vectorworks, we've created a BIM demonstration project called the DC Riverside Office Building, and it's available for sharing among our users for analysis and review. The simulated design team consists of an owner, an architect, a structural engineer, and a building services engineer, as well as a general contractor. All parties use Solibri Model Checker version 6 for validating, merging, and comparing the three IFC models at each stage. The results are quite interesting, and I invite you to have a look at this project. It's available on our website at www.vectorworks.net slash BIM. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to another Best Practices video. And for even more BIM-related articles and topics, please visit our website.